Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network, where I love to infuse spirituality and practicality for the culture. Let's get into today's reading. So today's reading is going to be about how to get unstuck, okay? How to get unstuck, messages from spirit, okay? Let's hop right into the two today's reading, okay? We have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, again, Pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. All right, I'll see you guys in today's reading. My pile number ones. Welcome back to your reading. So, how to get unstuck. So this is a message for anyone who is feeling like they're on the precipice of something, but maybe they're dealing with some obstacles along the way that they just can't seem to maneuver themselves out of or through uh, with ease right now, okay? So we're gonna find out Okay, we're going to ask spirit, source energy, your higher self, how to get unstuck, okay? So you all chose the mythical goddess tarot, and I feel like uh, how to get unstuck is through like sacral energy, like your sacral, like your sensual energy for some reason, like prana, life force, kundalini energy, okay, is what I'm getting. Also, um, yeah, you know, uh, kundalini energy, but also like Shakti energy. Shakti is a Hindu goddess and it's, that Hindu goddess is basically like that kundalini energy, you know what I mean? So take that as it resonates, but I'm just shuffling these cards. We're gonna start with, um, no, you know what? Let's start with these cards, I'm sorry. But yeah, so, Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages on how to get pile number one unstuck. Whoa, okay. These flew out. Okay, so, hmm. Stuck energy, I can see what's going on here because um, all these cards are in reverse. Okay. You have two major arcanas. We have Bridget Alchemy, which is... Um, the temperance card then we have uzami which is the full card and then we have um mother regeneration and then we have denial so okay this is a very clear message for my pile number ones off bat you have to start um almost like manifesting something you have to hone your powers as a master manifester to start to to like kind of like restart your life okay you're being urged to restart your life again okay with this alchemy card and this uh sorry with this alchemy card and this full card energy you see how she's just mixing stuff up you're being urged by spirit right now to do whatever it is sorry let me cover her you're being urged uh from spirit right now to do whatever it is that you have to do to uh, kind of like start your life over, okay? And that means positive thinking. That means, uh, I will give you guys an example. Like, I don't know if you've ever heard of this book called The Seven Day Mental Diet by Emmett Fox. I believe that's his name. And The Seven Day Mental Diet is basically about uh, not dwelling on negativity, whether in or around you, whether it's going on internally or externally, for seven days like of course you're human you're gonna have those thoughts but like immediately instantly swapping it out with a positive thought or just thinking something else that is not negative okay and you're gonna guard your thoughts with all of your power for seven days and if you relapse right if you um start dwelling on something negative even if it's for five minutes you're going going to have to start over right you're gonna to have to say okay well now i'm at day one or tomorrow i'll be at day one and stuff like that you're gonna to have to start completely over until you could get seven days straight without dwelling okay entertaining living in that negative uh thought that negative thought aspect okay so so what I'm getting here is that you have to be you have to be the alchemist of your life. You might need to read that book The Alchemist, okay? You need to be the alchemist of your life and plan and and mold your life into what it is you want to be and who it is you want to become, okay? Because then it will start a trajectory and then it'll lead you on your path because 
to be honest, in order to get you unstuck, we want to turn these upright, right? For the most part, you know? But they still have the same messages coming out within them, right? And it's like also how to get unstuck is regeneration starting over, okay? Like, look, she has purple hair and the borders of this card of the major arcana is purple, okay? So, like, to me, it's like, regenerating your thought process hello like look at her brain look at what's like being like infiltrated in her brain Re completely regeneration regenerating your thought process positivity only okay because while i do these pick a cards i enjoy doing these pick a cards so much you all i love it like oh my goodness i i really love it i can't believe this is my life um i don't just want to convey the message only about romantic love all the time. This is about making our dreams happen and making our dreams come true and making the things that we want to manifest, manifest. That could be love too, you know? You know, so um, even leave me messages down in the comment section if you all wanna hear more about like, what topics would you like to uh, listen to for these pick a cards? I would love your opinion, okay? But anyway, coming back to this, it's all about regeneration right now. And that's what's going to get you unstuck, whatever that regeneration is. And it's funny because we have, this is the queen of, um, this is the queen of wands. Okay. The mother of fire regeneration. She's all about that, like Kundalini. She's all about that Shakti energy, which is life force, right? Which is that sexual energy that she uses, uh, in different realms and different aspects of her life to make certain things happen. Okay. Um, our, our, uh, sensual sexual energy is what produces life. So if it produces life, what, what much more can it also produce that could produce, uh, dreams, like coming into actualization, like us honing in on something, you know, accomplishing goals, you know what I'm saying? Use that life force energy to accomplish something, to, to get out of this rut or this, this stuckness that you may feel like you're in, okay? And then we have the seven of seas denial. I feel like you're coming out of denial. Purple is a theme, so you all must be healing, you know what I'm saying? And you're coming out of denial for something. This could be denying your your kundalini that shakti energy okay that sexual prana life force energy because look she's surrounded by snakes she's like no 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 you know but i'm also thinking of snakes as in you know read between the lines you know and she's like no and maybe that's what's going to get you unstuck is a little you know s3x liberation okay for those of you all who are partaking but if you're not utilizing that that energetic flow to create things to make manifest okay <clears throat> but there's definitely a lot of regeneration energy on this table okay and it's like you're coming out of this state of confusion you know you're coming out of it because you know you're the alchemist of your own life you can produce anything and make anything happen but first, this mind has to be the conduit to know that. You have to know that, okay? And you have to use your confidence. You have to use your your energy, okay? Your life force energy to produce. And, and I feel like you, you will, okay? And you're about to make your life brand new. Yeah, so we have a shell at the bottom of the deck, the moon. So the full moon in Gemini is coming... To, to either today or tomorrow. So um, full moon in Gen Gemini, what do you need to release, you know? Use this as a urge, okay, as a call to release everything that no longer serves you, no longer serves where you're going. And so when releasing it, you'll make way for newness, right? You'll invoke this energy and let the newness come through you know, that crown chakra and reinvigorate you, okay? Yeah, so use tonight's or tomorrow's. So today's the 18th, so use either today or tomorrow's new moon, uh, full moon in Gemini energy to release anything you've been wanting to release as of however long, you know? And just write it down, like, um, thank you, spirit, for 
uh, allowing me to release feelings of lack, feelings of insecurity, feelings of despair, you know, whatever it is that, uh, that you feel like you, you're being called to release right now. But let's pull some more cards. Pile number one, clear, concise, accurate messages are pile number one, spirit, in regards to what, um, how to get pile number one unstuck, guidance from spirit, how to get pile number one unstuck, clear, concise, accurate messages on how to get pile number one unstuck, okay, okay, R base chakra, yeah, you you it's a time for building and like i was saying even kundalini energy so your base chakra is your foundation okay is where everything starts and 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 begins right so we had zero as a fool and then we have number one you're building something it's time to really build your life back up into not what you think it could be but what you want it to be okay because it's up to you now you can have whatever it is that you want you're the thing about a deficit is that you could build upon it and then have a brand new start okay so if you feel like you've been working you know working within a deficit or something like that or you just don't have enough not to fear because spirit is coming in to um help you build back up from the from the ground up, okay? With that base chakra. Maybe you need to start getting your base chakra aligned too. And you could do that in a multitude of ways. Let's see. Um, I actually just want to read this for you all. Base chakra. <clears throat> okay. So it says base chakra. Color red, sound lamb, element earth gland adrenal and it and key words i have okay so this is reminding me of taurus energy too so it says known as the base or root chakra this energy center is situated at the base of the spine and is most closely related to all of your earthly issues such as survival the physical body issues of money sustenance safety and shelter to balance this chakra, practicing yoga can be extremely beneficial. Dancing or light physical exercise will also help keep the energy flowing and harmonious. Honing, I mean, I'm sorry, honoring your body and taking care of it on the outside will bring you well-being on the inside. It works both ways. So yeah, so dance a little, um, you know, physical exercise will help, you know, light physical exercise will help keeping your body tip top you know that's maybe showering more often than you usually do just to feel like good you know moisturizing your body moisturizing yourself feeding your body good uh nutrients and sustenance okay as well that's gonna help with your crown chakra too so that's gonna help you you know uh reinvigorate from the inside out and soul spirit all of that uh wise okay thank you god thank you spirit clear concise accurate messages on what will get um pile number one unstuck spirit i'm also getting moderation everything in moderation and maybe you've been doing too much uh maybe there's been a little bit you've been out of moderation with this alchemy card you've been out of moderation because look she's just pouring stuff in that thing and um you just yeah i'm getting like being in moderation too with everything okay a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of spice everything nice you know S stuff like that <laughs> thank you god thank you spirit um Pile number one, what's going to get them unstuck? What's going to get them unstuck? Thank you. Okay, so we have obstacle and challenges in the reverse. So you're coming out of these obstacles and challenges, okay? And here's the thing, pile number one. It doesn't seem like you're using your intuition to fulfill your destiny, okay? Like you're getting stuck at the base level of things, at circumstances and how they are, but when you research uh thought leaders like neville goddard and stuff like that neville goddard let's say earl nightingale these people who have kind of cracked the code so to speak of uh even uh florence goball shin 
when you think about people like that, they always say, do not rely on outer circumstances. Like, don't rely on the sight of outer circumstance. Rely on God, rely on source, rely on spirit, rely on a higher energy source that's going to keep you in motion and keep you through what you're going through, right? So with this base chakra upright, intuition in reverse, and obstacle and challenges in reverse, it's like you're not looking inward for the answers because of your circumstances they're so they're like blinding you they're causing this illusion this denial that you're not an amazing great person who can achieve anything they set their mind to you are but the thing is you do have to build up your most fundamental foundation okay you do have to build up your fundamentals which is your foundation which is your stability in order to feel a little to feel more clarity on taking the next steps right because right now you feel shaky like well dang how am i gonna get over this like look at this like if i fall it's a wrap like it's over you know but you're not gonna fall you're not going to fall, okay? You can totally get over this uh, obstacle and these challenges. And it seems as if you are overcoming them. But you've been having a rough time tapping into your intuition. But it feels like in order to get you unstuck, you're building your base chakra on up. And then you'll start trusting in yourself more. Because for my pile number ones, I feel like there is a lack of trust when it comes to, you know, the things that you want or the things that you can accomplish is what I'm getting. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages on um, how to get pile number ones unstuck, Spirit. How to thank you. Yeah, stand your ground. Stand up for yourself and keep going. Do not give up the fight is what I'm getting, okay? Do not give up the fight. You know, there might be some inner or external conflicts along the way, but with you standing your ground, this was up right, with you standing your ground and keeping, keeping on the flight, you're going to win. You're going to stand up for yourself and you're going to remain triumphant. Okay. Okay. Let's pull some different cards here. Pull some oracle. What is this? The work your light, I think. Yeah. I think this is the work your light oracle. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear up this deck. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages from my pile number one. How to get them unstuck, okay? How will pile number one get unstuck? Definitely trusting yourself. Trusting yourself and your intuition that any obstacle that comes your way you will be able to get through it you'll be able to stand up to it victoriously and with confidence and and just get through it and you know right now you're in a building stage you are you're building from the ground up okay thank you god thank you spirit thank you god thank you spirit pile number ones how's pile number ones getting unstuck spirit messages directly from you source thank you Look. So we have two cards that came out breaking the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Like I thought, there's a lot of healing taking place right now. And all you have to do is just rewrite that mental script that you've been telling yourself time and time and time again. Okay, star seeds will light you up. And it's funny because we have big old Saturn right here and then Jupiter in the distance, but Saturn right here is. Saturn right here is going to make you work for it, okay? Saturn energy is making you work for everything you're getting, okay? So there's nothing wrong with that because at the end of it, you're going to be like, I did this. I stood my ground. I stood victoriously, and I made this ish happen, okay? By myself or with help or whatever, I made it happen, though. You know, I accumulated the resources that I need to that I needed to accumulate in order to live my life in the way that I saw fit. OK, but I, I did it, you know. So, you know, you have to find that grace. OK, whatever lights you up, do it. You know, find the find the. 
find the happiness and the joy where you can and how you can. Even if that's just going and get like a little cappuccino at a little, you know, side street cafe or something. Just, you know, when you're not feeling that great or, um, you know, taking a long walk on the beach when you just have to clear your head. Like things that will keep reinvigorating you, okay? And it's like you're coming out of this cave here. You're coming out of, of this you know, kind of trying some time and energy into the light and you're, you're finding, you're finding yourself. Okay. You're, you're gaining more clarity. My bad. You're gaining more clarity and more momentum. Okay. You really are. And trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Trust your path. Know that you're on the right path, even if, if it seems arduous at times, even if it seems hard, even if it seems difficult, okay? This just fell out while I was shuffling. Devotion, uh, inner temple, tune into the portal of your heart. Yeah, tune into the portal of your heart, okay? What is your heart crying out for you to do or for you to believe in, okay? And that... I, I even know that answer. That is to believe in yourself, to believe in your capabilities, okay? All right, let's see. Let's get more. Uh, we're going to use some divination of the ancient cards here, okay? Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our popular ones on how to get unstuck concise accurate messages here for our pile number ones on how to get unstuck spirit thank you thank you thank you clear concise accurate messages on how to get unstuck thank you thank you thank you how to get unstuck clear concise accurate messages how is pile number one getting unstuck spirit how is pile number Thank you. Geomancy patience. Yeah. You got to be patient with yourself, pile number one. Okay. Because it's going to happen. It's not the matter of if, but when. It's just Rome was not built in a day. And I know you want situations to change dramatically overnight, but you just have to continue to build upon it. Okay. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. How's pile number one getting unstuck? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Okay. It says directions, footprints. Follow your path. Follow your path to where it's taking you because it's taking you to greatness is what I'm getting. It's taking you to where you need to be. And by not trusting it, you're, it's like, by not trusting it, it feels like it's taking longer than how long it'll actually take. Okay. Yeah wishbone affirmations say affirmations to yourself uh uh say you know i am in my own one bedroom beautiful open airy apartment or whatever in uh los angeles california or new york city or whatever wish this into being like affirm this into being okay because you have the capacity or your wishes are about to be granted okay you're about to be unstuck very soon okay handwriting authenticity script this that's what i'm getting with this uh wishbone affirmation card and handwriting authenticity be authentically sound in what it is that you want when you're scripting out your life start scripting out your life start writing down your life as if you're already living the life you want and write it down to a t like do not spare any detail on how you want your life to be because this is what's going to get you unstuck and to get you to where you, you ultimately want to be okay <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to pull some um, Soul's Journey cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. How will pile number ones get unstuck? How will pile number ones get unstuck? Spirit, clear, concise, accurate information. How pile number ones will get unstuck? Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate information on how pile number ones will become unstuck. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. How will pile number ones become unstuck? Thank you. Thank you. How 
towel pile number one swoop, become unstuck. Okay. Friendship. Yeah. Utilize the people around you, friends, uh, people who are your soul tribe, your connection. It says friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Okay. Utilize your resources. Okay. Your Utilize your resources in the people in which you're interconnected with, okay? We have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Do not blame yourself. Do not blame other people. Just know that this is just a circumstance that has to work itself out and this too shall pass, okay? We have uh, empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation, right? So see all different perspectives of everything and have empathy for people, okay? Even people who you feel like don't treat you the best or haven't treated you the best in the past, have empathy for them because you never know how those people were treated and you know how they say hurt people hurt people, okay? So just continue to have empathy in your heart and to... Um, you know, place yourself in another person's shoes. We have perseverance. Yes, this is a beautiful card too. Uh, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Yes, pile number one. You're feeling reinvigorated. You're about to start feeling very reinvigorated. Like I can do anything I freaking set my mind to. Anything. I'm a master manifester with uh, nothing but hope and, and prosperity within me, okay? And the last card is envy. I'm the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Let go of anything you feel envious about, even if that's people and their possessions, okay? Or whatever, you know, you're gonna be in this circumstance too, so it's kind of like silly to be envious right now of another person's possessions where you're going to be in in a same place as uh you see other people's are better and then what if someone was envious to you you know you wouldn't you wouldn't want that because you would be like you know they these per people don't know my life right empathy they don't know what i've been through to get here so you know on the on the on the same side of the coin definitely have to you know just grace you know give everyone grace okay right now and then we have doubt in reverse i re i release the need to know all the answers this is something that you all can script today for the full moon in gemini it's either today or tomorrow so i'm filming this on the 18th of december so it's either on the 18th of december or the 19th of december which will be tomorrow um but yeah i release the need to know all the answers i'm gonna use this because this is a great um this is a great, um, you know, thing to release is I don't know all the answers, you know, but, uh, I don't have to. Okay. And you don't have to doubt yourself. And it seems like you're coming out of a lot of self doubt and, uh, and worry. Okay. So last messages for my pile number one in regards to what's getting them unstuck. Okay. You all are building this beautiful life and, slowly but surely you're gonna see yourself just being being grateful and thankful for where you are but also where you're heading okay thank you god thank you spirit clear concise accurate uh messages to get paul one unstuck okay yeah what's gonna get paul one unstuck spirit thank you thank you thank you yeah you guys have a lot of angel messages angels are heavily with you right now at the bottom of the deck we have wisdom everything has a place and a purpose to be wise is to have great love tolerance and compassion for all things okay use your wisdom you are endowed with so much inner wisdom and grace that um you know spirit wants you to use on yourself and on others we have Archangel Uriel. A great spiritual transformation is currently occurring both in your life and in the world. This is the union of heaven and earth, spirit and matter, heart and mind unite in harmonious balance. So, you know, the things that we go through, they happen for a reason, you know, and just, you know, call out to Archangel Uriel and just, you know, say thank you or, you know, just call out for assistance if you need it because our archangels our angels our angels ancestors and guides they can't really help us unless you know we give them permission okay because we have free will on uh on earth 
so we have compassion okay when you show greater compassion towards yourself the universe automatically responds by showering you with greater blessings so this is a lot this message is coming up a lot in this reading and have compassion and empathy for yourself okay you don't have to keep blaming yourself for what you did or what you feel like you did or didn't do you know we have trust okay all will work out well. We, your angels, are here to nurture, protect, and heal you. Trust in the healing power of our love. We love you more than you know. You're so guided right now. You're being guided. You're being led to something. And potentially it's something that you've asked for. And although it might seem like you're walking up a mountain, you're the goat, okay? You're you're that I'm getting Capricorn energy too. You're that like resilient goat that walks on the side of that mountain until they reach reach the climb, okay? We have divine mystery here. You along with the sun, earth, moon, and stars are part of one creation, a divine mystery unfolding each moment. Be present and feel the power of now. Be in the moment and witness the wonder of it all, oh, yeah. There's some type of divine synchronous things happening that you really can't put your you really can't pinpoint right now why it's happening and in the way it's happening but just trust it trust in in the mystery of of the world and in this universe and it's gonna it's gonna pay off okay blue angel i archangel michael am here by your side i am all around you and will for forever protect you remember this whenever you feel fearful i love you all as well so with this blue angel card here, like I said, you're protected. Your angels, ancestors, and guides are all around you right now, showering you with love and protection and guidance, okay? So although it might feel hard or difficult right now, this too shall pass. Change. Life is a journey. It would be very unfulfilling if each step was exactly the same as the last. Because life is always changing, it is forever fresh and new allow your allow your life to unfold gracefully be grateful for what was is and forever will be yeah there's a lot of change going on right now changing the seasons you know just change with everything you know we're coming out of quarantine well i think i don't know let me not anyways um precious gift Friendship, family, and love are precious gifts. Do not lose the sight of what's important. Yeah. So always keep to the light. You have a lot of gifts, a lot of precious gifts to bestow upon the world and to have bestowed upon you through connections, through friendships. Friendships came out twice. Okay. Utilize and cultivate friendships and, um, they will help you. Those connections that you cultivate will help you to find a peace of mind and reciprocity in the structure that you are looking for in life, pile number ones. And, 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 and it will help you get unstuck because you won't feel so alone or you won't feel like, you know, you're doing this all by yourself. Okay. So I love you so much. Those are your messages. Um, if you enjoyed that, if it was a little pick me up, please Big thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next reading. I love you guys so much. Bye. Okay, welcome back, pile number two, to your reading. So let's hop right in. What's getting you unstuck? Messages from spirit, okay? So we're going to hop right into your reading. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. What is getting pile number two unstuck, okay? How will they uh, regain their energy, their strength, and remain unstuck okay huh an important decision of clarity out of clarity is what's going to get you unstuck straight off the bat okay six of cups in reverse this could be this could be in regards to a relationship that you had okay pile number twos but it's some some type of clarity some type of like mental victory you're getting this could be about a relationship or an ex, but yeah, there's some decision you're coming into that's going to give you clarity about maybe leaving the past in the past once and for all is what I'm getting. And that's what's going to get you unstuck. Okay, let's see. One more card, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah. 
you're go you, okay so we have the son of coins which is the page of pentacles yeah you're embarking on a whole new adventure you're you're learning you're you're you know you're becoming a, a student again okay you could be learning the f uh, philosopher's stone okay you could be learning about astrology and how uh, it works or the moon cycles and how it works in relation like an almanac is what I'm getting like a moon almanac or something like that you, you could be planting something planting seeds okay when it comes to uh, monetary seeds and stuff like that but that's really is what's going to get you unstuck okay so we have the son of knives Okay, I keep, I want to pull more cards for you. Uh, Son of Knives in reverse. Yeah, you're not, so, it's either someone has made a decision to let you go or you're not even curious about this person anymore. You're not even, you don't care. You, you've made the decision. You've let it go. You've cut it off. You've cut it off, pile number twos, whatever. That's what's getting you unstuck. You've cut off something from the past. And this could just, this could be a relationship that maybe you held near and dear to your heart for a long time, but you just got like this spark of clarity that just said, it's time to move on. It's time to, you know, start something new, plant a new seed, grow a new seed, okay? But it's, I'm getting something with the sorcerer stone, like, <laughs> okay you could be looking up like the compatibility like you and this person maybe we're just never compatible yeah we have the father of nice here it's like broken clocks like you're not wasting your time anymore like you're not wasting your time anymore yeah we have the father of knives falling right under the ace of knives yeah you've cut something off like permanently it was just you had to use logic when it came to this decision okay yeah, the five of swords, you weren't willing to play any more games, you know, you just weren't. You weren't willing to play any more games, play any more mind games with these people or anything like that. This person in question, you're just like, let's, I'm going to let you go and then you let me go, okay? Wow. And then we have Bishop C.H. Mason, uh, card number five, which is a Hierophant. Yeah, because you're looking to build up something that's stable. Like you're creating what I'm getting, pile number twos, is what's getting you unstuck is you're looking to your future. You're creating your future, okay? You're creating like from an institutional standpoint, like you're doing things by the book. Like that's what I'm getting. You're doing things by the book. Like look, he, this, this figure here, this person here is like looking at a book he, they're studying they're a student but you're doing things by the book like traditionally like you could be like in school or something like that or it could be studying in a new course or something but that's what's getting you unstuck is like the dedication and the devotion you have to like whatever it is that you're doing in particular and I think you know, by leaving this person or the situation that was in the past behind by making that choice to do that, it it's going to either get you unstuck or if you've been feeling, uh, or if you've already done this, like that's what liberated you. That's what freed you. Okay. So this is what got you unstuck or this is what's going to get you unstuck. Look, the world at the bottom of the deck I mean, I'm sorry, it is the world card at the bottom of the deck, but it's the garden. You're watering your own garden, okay? And look, from the seeds you've planted, okay? You're just taking care of yourself right now and watering your own garden, pile number two. So, you know, good job. You're, you seem to have made a, a very conclusive decision and you're continuing to move forward and you're doing things by the book now. That's what I'm getting, okay? So let's pull some more cards thank you god thank you spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number two what's going to get them unstuck what is getting them unstuck out of this situation mindset you name it what is getting pile number two unstuck spirit okay i'm gonna just pull Four cards from this deck. What is getting pile number twos unstuck? <laughs> Look, we have material and spiritual. Oh wait, 
material and spiritual prosperity okay so that's what you're looking to cultivate and that's the six of pentacles yeah you're looking for uh even give and take uh pile number twos yeah the six of pentacles you're looking for even give and take or you could you're looking to you're setting your sights on um your material world right now. You're setting your sights on ma your material world right now, what you can have, what you can build, what you can cultivate, okay, in this lifetime. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. What's getting pile number two is unstuck. Thank you. Okay, deception and envy. Okay, someone might be sending you the evil eye. Protect yourself. Do a return to cinder spell, okay? But someone could, like, feel threatened by your success, too. Look, we have six and seven. And look at how this person is looking at, at this guy, like envious and jealous of their material, you know, their material and spiritual prosperity, okay? Because you, you, pile number two, are cultivating both or you have both, okay? And this person is hating on the sidelines, mad, upset, okay? Yeah, because you took control of your life. You're the authority. Look. We have card number five, Bishop C.H. Mason, and Bishop C.H. Mason stands for the Hierophant. They're the Pope. They're the, the, the head person in charge, okay? And you're the authority now, and someone is, someone's mad about that. Someone's upset about that, okay? This is the Emperor card in this deck. So you've chosen, this is the first time I ever got this card too, in a reading. That's funny. And look, at the bottom of the deck, we have card number nine, and I believe this is, a, this is a nine of wands. This is spiritual strength because you've been endowed with spiritual strength because you've been doing the work or you're doing the work to get to make sure that you can build your life into as you want it, material and spiritual prosperity. And someone is upset about that. That could be an ex, okay? This could be a person that watches your social media or something like that. This could be a person from the past. This could be an old friend, okay? But someone's upset about that because you seem like you have your life together. You seem like you're the head person in charge, okay? With this emperor card, because this emperor has their life together. They are the authority, okay? Because you've been doing things by the book how you've been wanting to do them, okay? Firm foundation, yeah. You've been building a firm foundation within you, and I'm getting uh, the base and the root chakra. You've been building your stuff up. Congratulations. This is the four of pentacles. You've been holding tight to what's yours, okay? To your material possessions, you know, all that. You've been making sure that you stay stable is what I'm getting, okay? All right, let's get some more information but ultimately what is getting you unstuck pile number two is you made a decision to maybe go at something alone or to leave the past in the past is what i'm getting. to cut off the past completely and to focus on your you building something maybe building an empire because this dude looks like caesar okay or like a roman emperor or something like that thank you god thank you spirit clear concise accurate messages for our uh, for our pile number twos, what's getting them unstuck? What is going to help it to get them unstuck, spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos. What's helping getting them unstuck? Just say yes, okay? You have the green light on something. Spirit source is giving you the green light and just say yes, okay? Maybe do more, maybe say yes more, okay? You've been saying no to a lot of things, but maybe say yes more, okay, is what I'm getting. What's going to get pile number two unstuck or keep them unstuck, spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Okay, you, you all have three cards. Bottom of the deck, birthing a new age. We have birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Yes, yeah, stay that dreamer that you are, pile number twos. You all are dreamers and, and doers and movers and shakers is what i'm getting and you're making things happen into your life you're not just dreaming it into being you're creating it simultaneously okay so these two cards fell out mirror who is triggering you so to me someone i don't think you're tr i think you're triggering someone with this deception and envy card and how they're looking at this person 
because they feel like this person is like an authority or they're building something and they will soon be an authority and creating heaven on earth. It's happening. Yeah. Someone is triggered that you're creating your own utopia. You're creating your heaven on earth because you're doing what you have to do. You're building everything from the ground up in order to create your life as you see fit. And someone is, is triggered by it. You know, I'm not saying good or bad, but someone just feels like, away you know that's one thing i will say they're feeling a way about it okay whether that be good bad or indifferent but it's seeming like lower vibrational energies here with this deception and energy with this deception and, and envy which is the seven of swords i believe so but yeah you're building your own utopia you're building heaven on earth for you and for the people um in your life okay you've made those sacrifices to do that and I think you'll continue to make those sacrifices because you really want um, to protect <clears throat> the people in your life, and, and including yourself. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our power number twos. What's getting them unstuck? What's going to get them unstuck, Spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages for our power number twos. What's getting power number twos unstuck, Spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos. What's getting them unstuck? What's going to get them unstuck, spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages, okay? Look, we have tarot guidance and we have Ouija board caution, okay? So I feel like you take caution in what you do. And this could be in love because this Ouija board little thing looks like a heart, Okay, and then we have tarot guidance and you follow the guidance that is given through you given to you through tarot or through like your angels ancestors and guides and look we have at the bottom of the deck dousing rod seeker. So you're a seeker. You you are a continuous student. You're a, you're a forever student. You are you love to learn. You love to be guided. You love, you know, knowing what's coming up next and all that stuff, right? You you like to be um, in the loop mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically, and you you like to learn. And I think that's really what's paying off pile number twos because you all like to learn and you're going to follow the guidance that you've been directed to give. <clears throat> um, I want to pull one more card. <laughs> Look, Astrology Destiny. This came out in reverse. I usually don't read... Um, oracle cards in reverse like that but um this did came out this came out in reverse but it's like the astrology right now is guiding you towards your destiny but since this caution is here i think it's ca cautioning you against like the naysayers or people who are maybe sending negative energy negative vibes your way but i just want to gain a little clarity let me pull out this book okay ouija board caution let's see so uh that's not that ouija board caution let's see okay so it says back away quietly from this situation back away quietly from the situation even though an offer may be tempting underlying issues have yet to rise to the surface so look deeper into a situation before you take any action once you have uncovered all the facts you can decide if you should take the plunge or withdraw as fast as you can the ouija board is a very reliable tool if you know how to use it both correctly and wisely but if you are in unfamiliar territory then leave what you do not understand alone you are invited to pull another card to assist you with your next step and that's yeah you stick to tarot stick to use uh using your guidance to stick to astrology and and it's interesting because i'm getting as this ouija board caution is that Pile number twos, you've been knowing how to move because you watch readings. You might watch general readings online or on YouTube. You might watch pick a cards and the goodness from those readings you take and whatever that doesn't resonate, if it's just bad and you're just like, I just don't like how this makes me feel, you leave, but you take the goodness. You take the good guidance that it's giving you, okay? And you build upon that. You actually take actionable steps towards, you know, what it is that, you know, you want to build and you do that, okay? 
you all could be tarot readers okay and give guidance uh yeah give guidance as a profession but this is like your destiny whatever field it is that you're in right now is like your destiny okay and it's uh advisable to seek expert like advice okay retreat do not whatever it is that like you might be like huh i don't know should i do this think it through and seek advice maybe go watch some general readings on youtube or something like that you see, I don't know if y'all seen that little flicker of the light, but go watch some general readings on YouTube or something like that. And it's going to tell you like, I don't know this person's intentions or whatever. Go watch an intentions reading. What's this person's intentions? They have tons of the tons of those pick a cards on YouTube. So go watch that. But also what I'm getting also with Ouija caution board is you have a really good sense of discernment and you have been guided to have a really good sense of discernment about people places and things that you allow in your life where maybe you haven't had before okay or you've learned to like nip something in the bud really quickly so it doesn't like severely impact you okay so let's see let's uh pull more cards of soul journey Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. What's getting pot number two unstuck? And I believe that caution that you took because of the guidance uh, that you listened to, it's getting you unstuck or it's going to allow you to become unstuck. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, change. Okay, we have, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You're changing, okay? You're changing, rearranging, and people are they're not comfortable not everyone is comfortable with change although it's something that's inevitable everybody changes everything changes okay love i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things yeah i feel like you have a lot of love in your heart you see the good in all things even if that's left you at a deficit at times you still continue to build yourself back up and really don't hold resentment towards those people are trying not to okay <clears throat> Tell me more spirit about pile number two or how to get them unstuck. Acceptance, okay. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so it says I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. One more card. What's going to get pile number twos unstuck? Ooh, two more cards came out for you guys. So health, okay? This is at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to read those two cards in a minute. But it says health. I will honor the physical vessel that... Um, enshrines my soul sorry i was reading that uh upside down but pay attention to your health right now focus on your health make sure that mind body and soul is taken care of okay <clears throat> peace i am a being of love like i said you guys have a, a lot of love to give and you you offer out a lot of love to people and i re i release all negative energy beautiful beautiful Okay, and empathy. I feel like you're very empathetic people too. So I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. I feel like that's uh, that's what gets you in trouble sometimes, pile number two, is you are so empathetic. You do look at both sides of a situation to the point where you kind of could end up on the less of the receiving side than you would like, but it's okay because, you know, Spirit doesn't give us anything we can't handle. And I feel like if you're the perfect person to embody that type of like empathy towards people and um, spirit also recognizes that and blesses you in the process as well. So all isn't lost there, but okay. Last messages spirit on what's going to get pile number two unstuck. Clear, concise, accurate messages for what's going to get pile number two unstuck. Thank you. So harmony, yeah, just living balanced, okay? What's going to get pile number two is unstuck, spirit. Thank you. Okay. So protection, you're always protected and you're guided, okay? You are safe. Do not fear. We are with you always and surround you always with our invisible wings of light. You're very protected, pile number two. There's nothing to fear, okay? <clears throat> but fear itself. Harmony. Disharmony occurs when we try to resist life's natural flow. Everything has its cycle. Every stage of life has its own unique meaning and purpose. Every day can be harmonious if we let it. So yeah, you're coming into great harmony, okay? Kindness. A kind gesture rekindles your belief in the power of love. Remember to be kind to yourself. 
be kind to yourself, pile number twos, and keep keep growing and keep glowing. <clears throat> Archangel Raphael, feel yourself surrounded by my emerald green light. I, Archangel Raphael, offer you healing and solace. The storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine eternally bright. Trust. Trust in your situation. Trust in yourself and trust in your light and the, the love and the light that you have to offer people, pile number twos, and that's what's going to get you unstuck, okay? So I love you guys so much. If uh, this reading resonated with you, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all so much. You all seem like very beautiful people. And, you know, trust in your journey. Trust in yourself. You are the process, right? So trust in you as the process, okay? I love you all so much, pile number two. And until next time, I'll see you in the next reading. Bye-bye. Welcome back, pile number threes. Last but most certainly not least, Let's hop into your reading. What is getting you unstuck? What will get you unstuck? Messages from spirit. Okay, so immediately as I was pre-shuffling this deck, I got like back to basics, right? Back to ba basics, taking things back to step one, okay? That's what's going to get y'all unstuck because this this is the traditional Rider Waite tarot deck and uh, it's just the basic of the basic deck taking things back to basic okay but let's get more clarity Pop right into your tarot what is getting pile number three's unstuck spirit what is going to get pile number three's unstuck clear concise accurate messages as to what is getting pile number three's unstuck thank you thank you here okay we have the queen of pentacles in reverse what is getting thank you we have the two of pentacles upright. What is getting pile number three's unstuck spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Okay, we have temperance upright. Okay. So what I'm getting that's what I'm getting here that's getting you unstuck immediately, pile number threes, is like self-focus. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles has um is a very uh, abundant, generous person, but she tends to focus, to me, on everyone but herself. And with this being in reverse, you're gonna have like a lot of self-love, self-focus right now. You're putting yourself first, okay? You all could be uh, earth signs, and I haven't even been using signs really in, in these readings, but I'm getting heavy Taurus energy, okay? Um, but you all could be focused on your coin right now on money finances on the material plane right now that's what i'm getting very um severely is like a heightened focus on the material plane and your emotional plane material and emotional specifically but with this queen of pentacles in reverse you're very self-focused driven even uh on the things that make you happy on the things that give you contentment and on the things that you know in in essence uh makes you more money you know with the queen of pentacles in reverse and there's a balancing act being being shown here both with the two of pentacles and with the temperance card right you're like mixing something into being and and you know it's taken some time it's taken patience and grace okay in order for this to come into fruition uh, in order this, in order for this like structure is what I'm getting this balance to come into fruition. That's going to get you unstuck, but you have faith and you're moving through grace, right? There could be angels assisting you at this time, specifically Archangel Michael, but it, I'm like, you, you're balancing mind, body, and spirit right now. You know, you're balancing your trifecta right now. I'm getting three, three, three also, uh, but we only have one major arcana on the table right now and it's just like patience you know patience moderation okay everything in moderation back to the basics like you're just kind of like have um you're just like in a state of grace right now in a state of peace okay because you've you know kind of made it from the other side of the mountain and you know now you're just you know waiting and alchemizing your life into being you're just yeah you know you're balancing your material world with your emotional world and you could be very peaceful and balanced right now okay and what has gotten you unstuck is really focusing on yourself
because ultimately that's the only thing we can control is ourself, our own thoughts and what we do. You know what I'm saying? What we choose to do. So let me see. Let me pull one more card. Yeah, Ten of Wands. It's like you're working very hard at something. You're working very hard at manifesting something right now. Pile number um, threes. And you're focused on it. You're almost there. Do not give up. You're almost there. Okay? Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Look, we have the Nine of Cups. We have Judgment in Reverse. Like, okay. So there's two major arcanas in the... Uh, table now we have the full yeah you're waiting for this new beginning to come into your life one more card spirit to, for uh pile number threes and what's going to get them unstuck getting them unstuck we have two more cards for you okay so if you were interested in pile number two go look at that reading too because it's like we have the seven okay so we have the judgment in reverse, okay? So discernment, too, is what I'm getting for some reason. You're practicing discernment. We have two Archangel Michael cards here. So you're protected either way, pile number threes. But what's getting you unstuck is your discernment. You not always being able to rescue everyone is what I'm getting. You can't rescue everyone every single time, okay? And you're having that awakening. You're having that aha moment to the fact that you can't. You just... You can, you know, try to get as many people as you can, but not everyone's not not everyone's even going to want to come. OK, when you try to rescue them because they have to be ready for that for that moment. Right. So I'm also getting, uh, you know, you're feeling very balanced right now. You're feeling very content. OK, like we're getting with the uh, temperance card. You're feeling very balanced and content with life right now. OK. You know that life is a forever balancing act, so you know the game of life and you know how to play it. So that's what you're doing. You're juggling right now, and that's cool. You're you're good in that energy, okay? And then we have the temperance in the full, and you're just waiting gracefully, patiently for this new beginning because you don't know if it's going to come. It's just like I know that it's going to come, so I'm just waiting. I'm just sitting. I'm just chilling, you know, making sure that I'm good, mind, body, and spirit is good, you know, keep alchemizing, keep mixing in the things that I want, taking out the things that I don't, um, and, and keeping my feet on terra firma, so keeping my feet planted and grounded, but also still being dreamy, still, you know, wanting things still desiring and stuff like that that's what that one foot in the water is about and one foot on on earth is about I'm, I'm grounded but i'm still you know manifesting stuff i'm not too grounded to where i'm rigid okay um and you're just waiting for this new beginning to take place because it's going to okay and the fool is is going towards this nine of cups so your wishes are coming into fruition okay and with the ten of wands in reverse there's still work that needs to be done but you're almost there you're almost done right you're almost to your goals you're almost to your finish line and look we have the seven of, of wands in reverse you've had to endure a lot you've had to endure a lot pile number threes um yeah you've had to endure a lot and you've had to fight for really yourself and what you believed in you know and you're continuously you're continuing to do that you're slowly but surely surely letting your guard down and like not being as defensive as you once were because you don't have to be right and here with the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, I'm thinking about manifestation. It's upright. So it's like your hard work is paying off. Okay. Look at all this growth. You know, the, this person is like, wow, look at all this growth. Okay. Like, should I continue to work on this or should I move on to something else? And eventually you're going to move on to that something else. Cause that's where this one pentacle lies is there are still other plants that they can grow, but they've grown this so tremendously, but um, and I think that has a lot to do with your boundaries. You know what I'm saying? So now you're kind of, you kind of are in that next phase of taking on, uh, different responsibilities and a new role and learning more and cultivating more. Okay. While you're in this patience, um, state, while you're in this state of grace, just waiting for that new beginning to happen, you're, you're still, you know, growing and learning and cultivating, uh, things. Okay. 
So let's pull some more cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, uh, accurate messages. What's getting pile number three is unstuck. So basically what's getting you unstuck, and I said this before, is focusing on yourself, knowing that you cannot save everybody, uh, and just operating out of a state of grace and harmony, okay? You're in a harmonious balance right now that uh, is making you feel very content and happy and satisfied. And with that, you know, blessings are coming. Even while you're working hard, you're still finding the grace in hard work, okay? New beginnings, okay? Period. Look, moving on. Destiny, yeah. Look, we, okay, yes. Yeah, I thought this was a zero at first. I was like, what? Zero, ten, zero? That's so interesting. But, um... Yeah, you're moving into your destiny. No holds barred. You're moving on to your destiny in your new beginnings. The world is at your feet. Like, what are you going to do with it? You know what I mean? The world is at your feet, pile number threes. What are you going to do with it? Like, this is literally what are you going to do with it, right? Material, financial material changes. Yeah, so like, there's definitely some changes going on here material and financial world that's going to make you very happy okay look okay we have card number nine spiritual strength um nine of wands you know there was a lot of wands energy here sacrifice because you've sacrificed a lot to get to this point pile number threes congratulations you've done the work and you're doing the work it's not just you've done it and you're you've done it and it's over because the work is never done you know but um you're continuously doing it, you know? You're continuously doing the work. Continuously. You know, this seven of swords here, there could be some trickery or deceit or like... Someone is trying to get one over on you, but you're wiser than that. You've been through a lot, okay? So you're wiser than that. And just keep an eye out. You don't have to worry about this because you're you have spiritual strength. You're protected. You're guided. You're moving towards your destiny no matter what. But just keep your eye out on people. Peep game. We have seven seven here, okay? Because they see that you're abundant, pile number three. They see that you're abundant. I'm gonna clarify um this seven of swords. Clarify the seven of swords spirit. Why the seven of swords here for our pile number threes? <clears throat> Please clarify the seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords here for our pile number three spirit? Clarify the seven of swords. Why is our seven why is the seven of swords here for our pile number three spirit? Thank you. Yeah, someone who's unstable. Okay, someone potentially who is unstable with the four of wands in reverse. I think that maybe looks upright. Ugh doing this at this angle is great you guys can see the cards but sometimes i get confused but the four of wands in reverse um yeah someone who lacks stability why did i put this right here someone who lacks stability um maybe who is in a lot of indecision and that's trying to find more balance might be projecting onto you by accident they're not even trying to right they're at this stalemate energy, like they can't move. So, like, they're trying to find their balance in their way, but it, it's hard for them right now. They could be offering you some type of, uh, could be a Libra, doesn't have to be. But we have the Page of Wands here. I think it came in reverse. So, hmm, they see you on this new path, maybe. And they could see how stable you are or they're unstable and they're, um, they don't know what to do. And they're sending you negative, sorry, sorry about that pile number threes. They're sending you negative energy. I don't even think it's on purpose. I don't think it's on purpose. I don't think it's conscious, okay? Negative energy that they send you. So just be, you know, if you feel weird sometimes, maybe because you cut this person off, but if you feel weird sometimes or odd, just you know, cleanse your energy and stuff like that. But I don't think this person is intentionally trying to send you this uh, this energy, right? But let's see. Let's uh, get more information. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. What's getting pile number threes unstuck? Clear, concise, accurate messages as to what is getting pile number threes unstuck. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What's getting pile number threes 
Unstuck Spirit, thank you. Imrama, Imrama, where are you being called to journey to? Okay, you could be taking some type of trip or you could be literally being called to like go somewhere you've never been before. Tell me more, Spirit. What's a... Uh... Oh, wow. Okay, these cards fell out. I'll take these. We have share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution, expression. Yeah, someone could be sending you negative vibes because they see you kind of like sharing your light or your gifts or your insight and they just feel uncomfortable about it i don't even think it's on purpose they just they feel uncomfortable about it because they don't do that and they're like this is new to me this is i don't know <laughs> you know so it says star seed what lights you up yeah you're finding what lights you up like you're continuously on your path and you know you're continuously um finding out who you are and what makes you happy and what makes you more expressive and stuff and things of that nature, right? And then we have don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Pile number uh, three. So you could have been doing that and that's kind of what maybe made you stuck in, in, in the first place is dimming your light to fit in because you were so afraid of, uh, you know, having people judge you or like you know feeling like well maybe you know I don't want this person to feel uncomfortable and stuff like that but I have a feeling you're no longer doing that anymore okay you're just being yourself you're being able to be creative and I'm really getting that this person that is you know kind of sending you bad energy they're watching you like blossom they're watching you just be yourself and I don't think they're meaning to send you negative energy, but they're like, they're kind of shooting glares at you and stuff like that. And it's not conscious. Like they're not trying to do it intentionally, but it's just like a feeling that they feel, you know? So just like I said, if you're feeling a little odd or, you know, different energies lately, just, you know, that could be the, that could be the cause. That could be the reason, right? But just, yeah, protect your energy for sure. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. How to get them unstuck. How will pile number threes get unstuck, Spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. And I'm getting, like, with this destiny, card, this destiny card, you're becoming more of yourself. Like, you're becoming more of yourself. Like, you're becoming more open. Like, I didn't realize, like, she was, like, an outline and then, like, an a elusive figure and then like she's like staring straight into her soul like she's becoming more of herself wow that's really beautiful yeah, you're becoming more of yourself who you're meant to be okay ouija board caution again this came out for pile number two if you were interested in pile number two or was like ah kind of like which pile should i choose go look at pile number two. um yeah, just be cautious of the people around you, the people you let in, okay? Spells, alchemy. You, We have temperance card. Yeah, you're an alchemist, okay? And watch the words you speak to is what I'm getting because they're spells. So always affirm to yourself. Always be kind to yourself and, and, and graceful with yourself, okay? And, and, and gracious with yourself is what I'm getting. But I feel like you're, you're concocting some stuff like... The full moon is either today or tomorrow, okay? The full moon in Gemini. So you might want to release some stuff. Um, I was telling another part of this. You might want to release, like, whatever that's been burdensome on you. Hold on. Whatever that has been burdensome on you with this t Ten of Wands, release it with a spell, okay? Through alchemy, through just writing it out and, and say, I release so and so i release such and such i release burdensome things that no longer serve my best interest or my highest good or something like that you know come up what works what with what works uh with you um tell me more spirit how will pile number threes get unstuck how will pile number threes get unstuck okay omen yeah or ornithomancy okay so someone something is trying to caution you okay you could be a healer too with healing with crystals healing at the bottom of the deck you could be a healer you could have healing hands but something is cautioning you to 
take heed to what's going on around you, whether they be feeling states, whether they be like sign synchronicities, something's going on uh, to which it's trying to make you aware of something with Ouija board and Omen. And this could be your internal thoughts. This could be, um, you know, people, places, situations that are coming around and you're just like, okay, and maybe you're just such a good person you try to let everybody in. But like I was saying, focus on yourself. You can't save everybody. You know, you can do what you can, but you can't save everybody. Just take heed to the omens. Take heed to the cautions, okay? Whatever, that's going to mean something different for everybody, but whatever it means to you, just take heed to it. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for what's going to get pile number three unstuck. Thank you. Okay, and I'm going to take one more card. This was like coming up. Yeah. Yeah, denial. Wow. Okay, so we have denial at the bottom of the deck. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Just be aware. You don't have to deny what's going on. Just be aware. Okay, that's like the fourth message, the third message. Okay, so you have worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Okay, we have blame in reverse. I accept responsibility for my well-being. And then we have doubt in reverse. I release the need to know all the answers. So like I was saying, if you guys want to write out some stuff to release for this. Oh, we have one more card. Abundance. Okay. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into this physical reality. So you know you're a limitless being and that you can manifest anything that you want into this reality. The thing about it is other people don't. They don't. They don't. You know, so... You can teach them what you know and you could teach them what you, you've you learned, but just be cautious about getting too close with someone too quick, okay? That's it, okay? And like I was saying, if you all need to release something, release doubt, release fear, release insecurity, okay? Those are the only things we need to overcome. And once we overcome that, boom, our lives are changed, okay? So you could even use this. I release the need to know all the answers. I think that's a beautiful message of release. I'm definitely going to use this. Um, in my full moon ritual today, just writing things out to release because, you know, the answers could come in so many different ways, shapes or forms. So, you know, we don't have to know everything. Other people around us may know a lot and we could, uh, you know, really benefit from their, their guidance and their clarity too. Okay. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. Last messages for our pile number threes on, uh, how they'll get unstuck spirit. Thank you. Okay. Clear. Look, precious gift. Like I was saying, I think it was pile number two. Check out pile number two if you, you know, were feeling called because it's like pile number two is a continuation to this. So, you know, you don't have to, but if you feel like it, precious gift. Friendship, family, and love are precious gifts. Do not lose sight of what's uh, most important. So, you know, there's a precious gift coming your way, okay? Sacred knowledge. Close your eyes. Let me hurry up. I think my phone's about to die. Sacred knowledge. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Fill the peace within. Beyond your thoughts lie your eternal truth. I, uh, the I am presence of your eternal love. Protection. You're divinely protected. Pile number threes. You are safe. Do not fear. We are with you always and surround you always with our invisible wings of light. You're freaking protected. Okay. No need to worry. And anxiety. Uh, we surround you with the healing light of amethyst. Take a deep breath and breathe in this beautiful violet light. Feel your anxiety melting away. There's nothing to fear. There's only love. So try to get an amethyst crystal and keep it near you. Uh, so if it's anxiety, maybe like near your throat chakra or um, maybe like near your temple or something. I don't know. Like <laughs> you don't have to do it like that, but just keep an amethyst near you just so it could like absorb any of that anxious energy that you might be feeling and, and it'll, it'll help you feel better okay because we did have that crystals healing card so you could be you could need to use crystals to heal yourself right now or in conjunction with your healing okay but that is all the time that i have for you pile number threes you all are beautiful people moving on the way to your destiny you're literally moving into your destiny you're becoming who you are meant to be and and how to shine you know you be you're becoming this beautiful diamond and you're shining like one as well okay so if you got anything from this message please give it a big thumbs up like share and subscribe and share this content with loved ones family friends or anyone who will best benefit from the messages provided here today. I love you so much, pile number threes. And until next time, take care. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye-bye.